Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'd like to show you some of my favorite sound design tools, the GRM plugins. And what I decided to do for this video was to show you first and only then talk a little bit more specifically about what they're doing. So just sit back, relax and enjoy the ride. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, cool. That was pretty fun, wasn't it? So let's talk a little bit about what these plugins are doing. So BandPass, it's a conventional BandPass, but as you probably noticed, you can have independent control of the channels. So for example, I'm now band passing only the low frequencies of the left channel, which are non-existent, and only the high frequencies of the right channel. So that's a pretty cool effect right there. And then delays, well, it's a delay, but right here in this little graph, you can see how many instances of delays are happening and the shape that it's drawing that delay, so to speak. So whenever I play a key, you see that it's going to be louder in the very beginning, but then it's going to fade away over time. So that's that. So what Grinder is doing is degrading a sound by freezing the frequency or time changes and by modifying the spectral resolution. Right, so right here under bands, you can choose how many bands and of course the higher the bands, the higher the quality of the sound. So if I go all the way up to 4000, And then I go back to, say, 16. Right? It's pretty cool. Next is Pitch Hackium. And what Pitch Hackium is doing is creating two distinct sounds at different levels and at different delay intervals. So you get this effect. Actually, let me go back to that sound again. So you can see that whenever I play and I have this delay right here, the right channel is played first and then 1.2 seconds later you have the left channel. And now you have the direct signal, and then 1.2 seconds later you have the left channel, and then the right channel. And GRM shift is a frequency shifter. And that's pretty straightforward. Next is GRM Warp, and what it's doing is transforming a sound by rearranging the frequency components Next is GRM Shuffling now this plugin is really cool because it lets you create weird resonance or reverberation with overlapping fragments of a sound. Next, let's move on to GRM Reason. So what Reason allows me to do is to rebalance the resonant frequencies of sounds to create new ones. And finally, one of my absolute favorites is Doppler. And also, if you're wondering what these little numbers are, these are little presets. If I go to number one, it goes back to the center. And if I go to, say, 12, that's pretty cool. 
And you can also save your own set of presets as usual in Pro Tools, so right here. But you can also save and load your own configurations right here. And that is pretty much it for this tutorial. Hope that you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, please leave your comment down below. And as always, I wish you have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. See ya!